today we're going to make something that really is not made with beer, but is a product of fermentation anyway, uh, and that is sauerkraut. I think I have about 15 heads, small heads at the moment, and cutting them down into, uh, shredding them down into the right size. Because what you want to do is you want to introduce the fermentation to take place on as big as a um, surface area as possible. So I'm going to shred up the rest of this and then we're going to take a, a few minutes, put it all together and show you how to make homemade sauerkraut. Okay, the uh, hardest part is over, taking approximately 20 pounds of uh, raw cabbage and chopping it down finely into a, a sort of a mishmash like this. And luckily I have my old trusty fermenter here. This is food grade plastic, it used to do a lot of my uh, beer making in here. Uh, and what we're going to do is do the final stage of this and we're going to bring in a special guest star who's going to help us uh, special finish. sauerkraut maker in the family. It's my mother-in-law Sophia and she's going to do the last layer of the, uh, we call it capusta. So what do we have to do? Cabbage. Cabbage. cabbage, right. Right. cabbage. <laughs> so what are we going to do? We're going to do we're the gonna last be, layer. We're going to put some salt well, like we put maybe in. Maybe start with, let's start with the last. For five pounds we're going to put some like four tablespoons of salt. For every then five we pounds. can put some little bit, not too much, caraway seeds. Maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon of caraway, and we also have just, I think, four pods of um, juniper berries. Juniper berries, very nice. If you don't have juniper berries, what you else can, can you put? You can put cranberries. You can put cranberries. You can put carrots. You can put a little bit, everything, not too much. Some sour apple, too. So I we got a little, have a little apple here. Yeah, Actually, just very throw nice. that in there. Very nice, very nice. And we think that the apple sort of triggers the fermentation a little bit quicker. And we yeah. actually, uh, my has a secret ingredient which I forgot to buy for mm. making sauerkraut. What's the secret ingredient? Well, if you want to, you don't put those other things. You can put a little bit grapefruit juice, natural grapefruit juice. So yeah. perhaps half a cup for 10 pounds or 20 pounds, a little bit. It makes a different taste, something different. And I think so, once again, it's the same thing like the apples because it, it speeds up the fermentation because yeah. you've, you've already got sugar there, whereas we're gonna have to draw the sugar out of this raw cabbage. Yeah. So throw in the last layer, Ma. Yeah. Throw right in the top. Yes, and then you have very beautiful, like medical stuff. The best thing what's is your sauerkraut, your own made sauerkraut. And why is so, that? Because you have all the vitamins, all nothing is added to it, so right. everything fresh. So now we got to put uh, four teas or four tablespoons more of salt. Yes, you want to yes. throw that on there yes. too. Yes, yes, yes. Or you can eyeball it. We're being can this, eyeball it. We, we we're being very just, scientific, right? Yes. We're being scientific. Let's right put now. it here. Uh, the final thing we're going to do is put a little salt down. A little for every pound, five, you put about four tablespoons of salt to sprinkle. And then you mix it and you have your beautiful sauerkraut, Bobby. You can have it. We just asked you for Easter. That's right. We got Easter coming in three weeks. That's right. why we're making this. That's why we make it. Now, the other thing you have to do is you have to put some sort of pressure on this. Pressure if you have some perfect dish. Look at that. Fits. Yeah. Like that. It's all. Oh, it's very nice. I've got a 10 pound weight wrapped in a bag and. Just put that's, that in there. That's very nice. That's very nice. And that's it. And now what you have to do is every couple of days... Just check it. If you have some foam, you take it off and leave it again. Okay. And let it and wait. Seven, eight days, try, test it. If you like it, and wait. After eight days, I think you'll be all right. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. All right, see you later.